Yes, it would put us a bit in difference with them because at the end of the day, yes, we could have a referendum, but it shouldn't come down to a referendum at the end of the day. It should come down to the fact that the UN has very clearly stated that it is in violation of basic human rights to not provide women with adequate medical care when it comes to um, fertility and the decision to have children. Your statement upon the official launch of the group calls for the decriminalisation of abortion. But is this where the campaign ends? Would you like to see abortions offered in Gibraltar and on the GHA? We are going for the decriminalisation of abortion. It's not where we end. We want to have, if it becomes legal, we could have this we can included in the sex education. We can get people more informed. We can get people to be able to go to doctors, tell them that they are thinking about it, see psychologists, possibly change their mind. If not, they've at least got all the health they need and all the information they need before they go ahead with the abortion. And afterwards, some people medically, they may be psychological problems if they've had a really bad termination. They won't want to speak to somebody. We need those facilities here. The central argument against abortion, of course, is that it's tantamount to murder. What is your response to this? If we were to decriminalize abortion, it would no longer be an illegal act. So it couldn't be considered murder. It's, it's a logical step. And then, as far as when we talk about people, again, a person's life, well, it's a very broad concept because there isn't an exact science as to when a person's life begins. People argue that any point after conception is when life begins, but at the same time, we have clinics that are offering IVF. And these clinics fertilize dozens of embryos. All of these are frozen and then when the woman's pregnant, they get discarded or they get used for scientific research. Would that not be murder? You say terminations are already happening underground, but those opposed to them would say they shouldn't be happening at all. So that's not a reason to offer more of them here. Well, the reality of it is that saying that abortions shouldn't be happening at all is based on the assumption that women have 100% control of their fertility. You know, it's a ridiculous notion. The reality of it is that we can't expect that every single woman comes from an adequate background where they've received adequate education as far as contraception is concerned. We can't assume that every single woman lives in a safe environment where they're not being abused. We can't assume women won't get raped. And the assumption that fertility is 100% controllable creates a stigma that makes women feel like they've failed.